y'all, what's up? It's Coach Mara. Oh, sorry, that, was, that may have been a bit loud. Hey y'all, what's up? It's Coach Mara. Oh, what's up? It's Coach Mara. Hey y'all, what's up? It's Coach Mara. Hey y'all, what's up? It's Coach Mara. Hey y'all, it's Coach Mara. What's up? Today is the first day of my YouTube career. It's very exciting. I am so excited to start this channel and help educate you guys on what I know about volleyball. Good morning. Tiger, what? Tiger's right next to me this morning while we start today's video. Today's video is gonna be all about exactly volleyball positions. I'm actually really excited for this time by myself because I don't know about you all, but like in the past few months, has everyone just been like, as soon as they wake up, they get just, they're like, they're wanting, they're looking to a distraction to distract them. That made sense. Coaching is one of the most fulfilling things I've ever done in my life. By far, and I've done a lot of things. I like teaching people. I like explaining things because it also develops my own understanding. So when these girls would ask me questions about how do I do this, it's more like a problem solving exercise where we're working together collaboratively to solve a problem. You can't find that in a lot of other scenarios in life. It's just not really a thing. Honestly, I, if I were to go back in time and had the choice to do it all over again, I would do it in a heartbeat. I wouldn't even think twice about it. It's amazing, loved it. My head really hurts. So why did I really become a coach? It was a natural progression. I didn't go out looking for it. It found me and I am so glad it did because I feel like I'm making an impact. When I teach setting or coach setting normally in high school volleyball, I teach it like this. Imagine that you are holding a gallon of milk. So you know the big jug of milk, it's like this big. You can't lift it with two with one hand, so you need two hands. So you grab it with two hands, and now imagine that you are drinking it straight out of, out of the gallon, which is gross and nobody should do this, but imagine. So you take, you're holding the jug, and you turn it upside down, and you hold it like this. That's the same action you want your hands to be at. So if I'll do it backwards here. I don't know if you can see, but here's the jug, and it's going up. This is where your hands want to be. If I placed a kitten in your hands, it should be able to rest inside of them easily. But essentially, you want your hands to make like a basket shape. You want it to kind of, your fingers need to be curved inwards a bit, but not like, like this. You're not hitting the ball. You're having the ball fall into your hand where your fingertips are so it's not coming into your hand and then you're throwing it forward no you want the ball to fall into your hand where your fingertips are for you to push outwards golf closed for july oh damn golf is closed guys you can't get golf anymore i have it on my fancy dancy list here because i'm an a-type personality and i like lists i got my vaccine today and i feel a little a little out of it so hence why this video is going to be a little more chill and just like a chit chat i want to just talk to you guys about stuff and that's why i may look a little, a little rougher on the edges but that's okay so i'm just sitting on my bed eating maltesers and i'm just gonna start talking so i got my vaccine today i feel pretty good like I feel like I can still get up and do stuff, but like my head kind of hurts, my arm kind of hurts, and I just feel like just I need a comfy sweater, a snack, and just chill in my bed. That's what I'm doing. So you got where your hands are, perfect. Now you need to work on where your feet are. So, let's see if I can show you that. My feet are n normally shoulder distance apart typical athletic stance, right? Same thing as with passing. You want to be on your toes. You want your legs bent. You want the weight on the front of your toes. This will give you a lot more bounce and a lot more lift when you're trying to push the ball. Because when you're sitting, you're not just using your arms and your upper body strength to push a ball to set it like that. 
because then A, you get really tired, B, it doesn't go very far, and C, it's not very sustainable throughout like a long game. You get really tired really fast. So, oh my god, I can't music. So, what we do to combat this is we use our legs. How we do that is we bend our legs like kind of like a slinky. So when the sli when you want a slinky to compress, you push it push it down, and then when you want it to go forwards, you extend it and push. Education goes around and he's like, I never want to leave. Like I don't want to go back. I don't like how you go back. I really don't want to go back. This is beautiful. I just saw a bald eagle. Like a legitimate bald eagle just like swooping around up there. I, it's so, it just, it makes you wanna like throw your phone in the ocean and your computer and your laptop and everything and move like here, super remote, by like one of these beautiful houses that are on the water and just live out your days and you clue it. That's what this makes me feel like doing. It's so weird. It's like rain, but not. Oh god. I don't know what's going on. I just want to go get my hair cut and like not freak out for like an hour. Then I can come home and freak out. Whoa! Holy shit! They're demolishing this building? Aw, oh, man. They like tore off the top half of it. Jesus, I didn't even do that. I guess so. Everything's made of wood. So really, it doesn't matter. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I've gotten to the point with my hairdresser now where I'm just like, do what you wanna do. What do you think my hair needs? And he'll be like, I think you need this. And every once in a while he'll joke about dyeing my hair pink. And I'll laugh, but I'll say no. Because it's like, my hair's already red. I don't need more. That's just excessive. Okay, shit, I need to pay attention. Where am I going? This is the part about driving I'm not good at. Directions. Like I'm good at like the like, mechanics of driving. Like the mechanics of driving I'm good at and knowing when a car is oh, when a car is good versus like oh something's wrong sort of thing. Like I'm good at that. But when it comes to directions and street names, I am directionally challenged is what I like to say. Not mentally challenged, directionally challenged. Because if you give me a street name, I don't know where the heck that is. But if you tell me, oh, it's the road by the McDonald's, by the mall, it'd be like, oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. Versus when they say a street name, and I'm like, what's that? Never heard of that. Even though I have. I feel like this isn't an uncommon thing, though. I really shouldn't have taken this thing. That was really good. Okay, now I can either walk in the cold, or I could just try my luck at Uh, let's try. Let's try our luck. We'll see. Hopefully I don't get caught in the hexagon of one ways downtown. Honestly, whoever designs streets, I want to talk to them. Honestly, it makes no sense. Why are some of these one ways like interconnected so that you can't do anything if you get stuck? Oh, another thing about me and driving. Some people like to say I have road rage. I don't know if I agree. I feel like, yes, I can get passionate for a moment, especially when it comes to stupid people on the road. There are many. And I have this tendency to yell, but not really yell like I'm screaming, like I'm gonna come out of my car and come get you kind of yell. It's more so like, oh my God, what are you doing? you idiot kind of yell. Some people find it funny. Like my best friends find it funny. My mom thinks it's a real problem. Which like, I don't know. I feel like it's fine. I've chilled out a bit over the last little while because like, what am I doing? I'm staying at home. I'm going to the grocery store for like a, for an outing. I don't have a schedule. It's fine. Nine times out of 10. But when I have food in the car that is warm, and you, sir, are going 20 miles an hour in a 50? No, 20 kilometers per hour, I should say. Because I am Canadian, and we use metric. 
everybody's going nice and slow today, which is nice. Oh, frick now. Must just cross the parking Oh! Ow. Didn't hurt me, it hurt the car. Roads. Also want to talk to the people who fix roads. What's the priority list on that, bud? Like, are we talking your road only gets fixed if it's, like, broken in half? Or is it your road only gets fixed until we hear about it? Because, like, that's super annoying. I'm like, oh god, stuck between two buses. Mm, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm not gonna risk it. I don't need that kind of pressure in my life. No, ma'am. This is better. Whoa, 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 yeah, stop? Yeah. Yeah, this way. Stop. Okay, this is when things get tricky. Pedestrians in this town are crazy. Granted, before I drove, I was a pedestrian. That was crazy. So, it's fine. Don't take it to heart. Does it scare me? Yes. Yes, it does. We're gonna park in the parking because A, I don't want to walk. B, it's close. See, hopefully they have a response. Uh huh. Didn't think about that. Someone gets a serve and nobody can pass it. Nobody can get it back. So you basically get an ace and they'll do like a dance. So like, let me take off my slippers here. They'll do like a dance or like something and they'll go <laughs> ace or something like that. I hate it personally because it's just so obnoxious and like our team is better than yours. And it's like, obviously, but I don't want to tell you that I'm like with a dance and everything. That's basically the, the sitch here. And yes, I did pack my external mic on vacation. Why? Because I care. I care about you and I care about your ears. Because there's nobody here with me. It's just you and me. We're in this together. So all of the right sides I've ever played with were all kind of like, they were chill, they were chill, they were chill, they were chill. And then one point they get to like their breaking point and they're like, I can't take it anymore. And then it was like, whoa, okay. Right sides, just, just watch them, just watch them. Be careful. I'm not gonna look at you, I'm gonna look at the road. Doesn't mean I don't care, it just means I'm not trying to die. Right now, I'm just trying to get out of Nanaimo. That's all I'm trying to do at this point. Let's just get out of here because Nanaimo was bigger than I thought it was. It was beautiful. I went to this super cute place for lunch, slash brunch. It was so adorable. Coffee was like, okay, it was okay. It was legit, but like she only gave me one shot in my latte and I was like, mm, I kind of needed two, but that's okay. And I had a breakfast wrap, delicious. I filmed some stuff while I was in there. Everybody started looking at me like I was insane, but to be fair, I was on like the, the tallest part of the, why is everybody merging? What's happening? Dude, do you know your blinkers on? Oh, that's why, huh? Because the lane merges, Mara, you ding dong. As 
a setter, you're running around the court constantly, even though you shouldn't be. In theory, you shouldn't be because technically everyone should be giving you a perfect pass. So you shouldn't have to move. This trip is kind of intense. It's a lot of driving, a lot of highway driving, which I don't do a lot of. So, sorry, I need the air conditioning. It's freaking a million degrees in here. I'm sorry if you can hear it, but I need this. And I don't want to take my sweater off or else I'll burn. So, life of a redhead, super fun. Do not, emphasize not, bold, underline, italicize. What is that? I'm ready to go. Leo's ready. Ready, steady. Nobody hit me. Hey y'all, what's up? It's Coach Mara. I have been away for a bit. Tis the season, uh, but happy holidays, everyone. And by the time this goes up, happy new year. 2021 slash 2020 was a pretty insane year. Um, and this video is just really like, it's just my way of saying thank you. So I wanted to take a moment here and just stop and be grateful for what has happened this past year. I didn't even know when I started my channel how much this is needed. Like for a while I wanted to do, I wanted to start a channel, but I didn't know really what I wanted to do. I was gonna originally do start with makeup and like do that i'm not a beauty guru anymore so i scratched that idea obviously because you're here and you're on this channel which is definitely not a makeup channel sorry <laughs> my own self-confidence has doubled if not tripled because of this channel and because of you guys it's it's hard for me to talk about a year ago i was in this room making my first video and i had no idea if it was actually gonna work well, not no idea. I had some semblance of like, I think this will, I think it'll work. I think people will like this, but I don't know. I wanted to take a moment and say thank you because I could make content all the live long day and that wouldn't mean anything if people didn't give it value. Value isn't something that you can buy. It is something that you can give. And the one way you give value to something is through time. So you all gave my channel value because you gave it your time and your attention and your interaction and your questions. That's what makes it valuable to not only you, who will hopefully get something out of asking these questions, watching these videos, but also to me because it means I can help people that aren't just in my direct vicinity. This way I can help people and that's all I've wanted to do with this is to just give people a chance to learn and to ask questions so thank you I'm so grateful for all 133 of you that come to my channel regularly and that have subscribed for those that watch my videos and aren't subscribed the whole 94 percent you are also welcome and I also thank you for your time and for your value but it would be nice if you subscribed. Please subscribe below. 2020, 2021, yada, 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 um, was a huge year for me personally. But the one good decision that I think I've made was starting this because I didn't realize how much I needed my creative outlet. I'm not an artist. I, at the, my art skills are like the picture that's over there. Like we're, we're not, Monet level by any means. I'm not an artist. I was a musician but since university I had to give that up too. So this became that creative outlet that I had had pretty much my entire life until this past few years where it was like okay we're done. What the hell do we do now? This. I know this video isn't the norm um, but I just wanted to take a few minutes, stop, reflect on what has happened and where we're possibly going. I have a few ideas for the future. We'll see what, what comes of it, but if you have any suggestions or videos you want to see me make, 
or if you have questions for me, please, please, please do not fear to reach out to me either in the comment section down below or on Instagram. Feel free to DM me. I'm always around. This video is meant not so much for me, but more so for you. Happy New Year. And I have it on good authority that 2022, although a mouthful, is going to be a great year. So fingers crossed that's true. All right. And with that, that's the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. 94% of you. And yeah, that's, that's everything. Good job, team. Good job, team. <laughs>